Well, thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Fabian, for helping with all my travel problems and getting me here. So thank you very much. Um, I'm Walt Walney. I'm the director of interconnection strategy for Hurricane Electric. Um, when I first joined, uh, we wanted to get over 100 exchanges, and we achieved that um, early last year. Uh, to make it easier for the translators, I'm going to read most of my deck just to help out. Uh, so who am I? I've been with Hurricane Electric for two years um, and have been reaching over 23 countries and over 132 in exchanges as of today. Um, my focus is on global connectivity. At Amazon, I was there for four years. I developed IP transit and peering on five continents, primarily focusing on Japan, Singapore, Hong Kong, India, Taiwan, Philippines, and Australia. Uh, while at her, uh, Amazon, I uh, delivered uh, over 62 new internet exchanges or CD insights. At Microsoft, I was there for 13 years, uh, developed IP and transit on four continents. Primary focus was um, US, EU, and South America. By South America, it was just Brazil. So the reason I'm here is because I don't know most of you and would like to extend my network to your either exchanges or to your networks and to your country. So I have 19 years of internet exchange experience. Um, a little bit about Hurricane Electric. Um, we were founded in 1990, um, I think it was 2000. Seven. Anyway, our, we started our nationwide U.S. network in 99. We expanded to Europe in 2005. We went 100% native IPv6 on our backbone in 2007. In 2008, we were ranked number one six IPv6 backbone in the world. Um, 2008, we expanded to APAC. Uh, when I joined um, Hurricane in 2015, I was uh, more focused on Asia. Uh, so we expanded to Osaka and Seoul. Uh, 2016, we expanded our network to Honolulu and Sao Paulo. And uh, thank you for all the help from my Brazilian friends at uh, PTT Metro. Phenomenal experience. And if you don't currently peer with me there, please let me know. Um, here's a map of our current network state. As you can see, there's orange dots in there, which means they're countries of interest. Uh, so why many, so many internet exchanges? I've been asked this a few times. Um, the expansion is the answer. Uh, like I said before, in 2015, we had around 90 internet exchanges. We had uh, 3,600 unique AS adjacencies. In 2016, we were now on uh, 132 exchanges with 5,300 uh, unique adjacencies. The, we're actually the most peer network in the world, and we're on the most exchanges in the world. Uh, that was a significant increase of roughly uh, 45% in all areas. So why am I here? I'm here to share with you the following. What does Hurricane Electric look for in a new exchange? And how can IX operators attract more members? What I look for in a new exchange is unique AJCZ opportunities. I typically look for five or more unique ASs before I consider going to another network or another exchange. New countries for me is key because the more places I go, the more free IPv6 transit I can give away to all of your customers. Uh, the last one is driven by customer requests. I get a customer request for a new country, we pick it up to the pop of the top of the list. After those are identified, does it make financial business sense for us to go? The cost of long tail circuits are usually the showstoppers at this time into the new regions we're looking at. Uh, data center cost, dark fiber, metro, and cross connects local import issues, taxes, and et cetera. Um, so here's, I'm sharing something that I shouldn't be sharing. Uh, the new exchanges in the next 60 days for us are TPIX in Taiwan, NAP Africa, and TPIX in Warsaw. So that's 185 new and unique adjacency opportunities. Uh, possible new locations in 2006 and 2017 is Bangkok, Manila, Guam, Houston, Philadelphia, Nairobi, Athens, Istanbul, Dubai, and Mumbai. What's missing from the list is all the South Af America opportunities, and so please help me become connected down here. Uh, here's our network map. It is updated very often, so by the time I hand out a flyer, it's already out of date. How can the IX operators attract more members? If we don't know about you, how can we connect? It's a very good question. Get your exchange listed publicly. You put extensive effort into starting and running your exchange. Talk to the network operators and recruit members. 
negotiate with data center operators for space and install exchanges, attain, deploy, and maintain hardware for the exchange. Um, taking the last step is to publicize your exchange, which maximizes the value to both current participants and future members. Um, here's the best way to uh, publicize your exchange. Make sure you get it listed on the peeringdb.com, the data center map, internetexchangemap.com, telegeography, and the internet wiki exchange. Your IX members page, list your participants including, in your website including ASN, IPv4 and 6 addresses, peering NOC and technical details, and peering policy. You'll be quite surprised that even throughout Europe right now, there is not uh, consistency in this area. I was actually contacted uh, two weeks ago to join a new exchange. It wasn't really an actual exchange, it was a, an ISP from a, a country that was trying to get me to pay to connect to them. So if you don't have more than yourself, that's obviously not an internet exchange. So why list participants in your web page? Because it, it allows um, current and prospective participants to see the information to add peering sessions, increase in peering traffic, and for the IX to grow revenue and size. Network operators like myself continually evaluate ISPs for potential expansion opportunities to make this determination we need a list of the ASNs that we do flow analysis. And ideally, we'd like to see what preferences those peers will advertise to the route servers or in, at the exchange. Here's a good example from the Seattle 6, my hometown in Seattle. It, it clearly lists all the participants and the ASNs and uh, contact details. And so it's my goal to continue our expansion to globally as many locations and, as possible, and I really need your help to do that. Um, so may, please make sure that you uh, keep your IX information up to date and public. And my next milestone is going to be 150 exchange, and I expect to crack that early next year. Um, so great to meet you all, and if you have any questions. Tenemos una pregunta. Robert. Hola. Uh, I'll do it in English. It's probably better. Um, I'm thinking what the what does apart from being a global network what you brings you what do you bring to the IXP that uh, is of particular value? I bring free IPv6 transit everywhere I go, and that's non-conditional lifetime. So you connect to me, I'll give you free v6 transit every day forever. Um, my next talk. When I come again, will be more technical, but I just wanted to make this as an introduction because I don't know any of you all, or I know very few, and I'd like to know you all better. Muchas gracias, Walt. Un aplauso. Thank you. Uh,